Welcome, and thank you for taking time to learn how Commissioner Tools works with the Unit Service Plan. In this module, we will discuss the process to enter a detailed assessment. Starting at the District Home screen, navigate to the specific unit for which you will be entering the detailed assessment. Once at the unit, select the New Contact button. The purpose of a detailed assessment is to highlight strengths and needs of a unit. There are two types of detailed assessments, an intermediate assessment and a collaborative assessment. The intermediate assessment is completed by a commissioner with no involvement of a unit's key three. This type of assessment might be done when a unit key three doesn't wish to participate in the process or if a commissioner wants to use this as a starting point for their own efforts to help a unit improve. A collaborative assessment is done in collaboration with the unit's key three. The preferred method is to include the unit key three in this process. The collaborative detailed assessment is also the foundation that the unit service plan is built around. A unit's key three will be more prone to engage the process of improvement when they are included in the assessment review. Let's review an intermediate detailed assessment first. We start by selecting the type of meeting from the drop-down menu. The name of the commissioner is selected from the visitor drop-down. Next, select the date of the detailed assessment, remembering that previous entries can only go 60 days in the past. From the next drop-down menu, we will select the unit health indicator that will be reported in the unit status report. Now select the detailed assessment button. The new screen provides you with several choices. If you like, you can print a paper version of the online form by selecting Print Commissioner Assessment Form. You can also print what a Unit Key 3 would have by selecting Print Unit Assessment Form. There are six areas utilized when completing an intermediate detailed assessment. Training and Membership Review, Planning and Budget, Membership, Program, Volunteer Leadership, and unit priorities and other details. We start step one by selecting the training and membership button. This displays an overview of training information for youth protection, the date this information was generated, the number of leaders trained, and the number who are not trained. The next section is more detailed about who has not been trained. When you are done reviewing this section, select the Done button. You are taken back to the screen with the six steps. Since we have finished the previous section, you can now see that it is shown as completed, while the others are still in progress. The next step we select will be for planning and budget. The top drop down is shown with red highlighting, indicating that this is a required field to be completed. Selecting the drop-down, we have choices of either calculated or five through one in half-point increments. If you select calculated, you will input scores in the sections that follow, which will in turn calculate the score for this step. If you wish to not complete all of the questions that follow for a section, you can select the score that you think reflects the unit status in this step. This score will show once you enter it. You can also enter comments to support your thoughts and findings if you would like. Moving down the screen, we have the opportunity to input information about the budget using drop-downs. As before, we have the ability to add comments. The next section is where we are able to offer ideas on how to help this unit improve. 
In the action needed box, we can type in our thoughts, ideas, plans, or needs to help the unit. We are able to utilize the next section to create accountability. We can enter who we think might be responsible and accountable for completing the previously entered actions needed. The next area is where we enter a target completion date. The following area is where we enter the actual completion date once it is done. This defining of action needed, accountability, target completion date, and actual completion date is the foundation of the unit service plan. This unit service plan is discussed further in detailed other videos. Once we are done entering this information, we select Done, and I return to the screen with the six steps. Finance Assessment now shows completed as well as our score for this step. The next four steps follow a similar process. These next four steps are where we assess planning and budget, membership, and program and volunteer leadership. We select each step as before. Select a score from the drop-down and enter comments. The same areas as before are here for action needed, accountability, target completion date, and actual completion date. We select the done button when we are finished with each step and are returned to the progress of screen after each step is completed. Unit priorities and other details is the sixth and final step. The first drop down asks about journey to excellence and is the only time it is mentioned in a detailed assessment. This piece simply asks, what do you think they may achieve in the JTE program, gold, silver, or bronze, or no ranking? The next drop-down is used to indicate whether or not there is a succession plan in place in the event of a key leadership change. The next section is where you summarize your thoughts on the areas where help is needed for any of the categories. Unit Commissioners may want to discuss these areas with an Assistant District Commissioner or District Commissioner, or if you think that there may be a potential Commissioner candidate in this unit. You can also indicate your observations on youth attendance. Is it increasing, decreasing, or steady? The final portion of this assessment allows for your observation of key vital signs that can jeopardize unit health. If any of these are present, you, as a commissioner, need to alert your assistant district commissioner or district commissioner and take steps to help remedy the situation. Select Done and you are returned to the previous screen that now shows this step is also completed. To complete the intermediate detailed assessment, select the Complete Contact button, which returns you to the dashboard of the unit. The dashboard now shows the Unit Health Indicators area with your updated information. You can review your assessment by selecting it from the list found in the Completed Assessments area and selecting the Review Assessment Details button. Creating a collaborative detailed assessment is started by selecting the Add New Contact button. Selecting the type of meeting. The commissioner making the assessment. And a future date for an assessment. A collaborative assessment is done by scheduling a date in the future so that the Unit Key 3 can be involved in this collaborative effort. 
When the future date is selected, the email contact information for the unit key 3 is displayed. If the email information is not available, then it is most likely because the leader has not entered it in their profile. Select each of the unit key 3 and you can add your own email if you would like. Select the Send Unit Assessment to Unit Key 3 button. An email will be sent to the leaders that will contain a link to the website where they can enter their portion of the collaborative assessment. Prior to sending a unit this email, you will be advised to discuss the process and expectations with them. The Commissioner's portion of the collaborative assessment is completed by selecting the Detailed Assessment button. This will take you to a screen where you complete the assessment the same way as done with the Intermediate Assessment. Once you and the unit have completed their portions, the two are merged online. The contact will show in the scheduled section until the date of the contacts have passed. The assessment can be reviewed at any time by selecting the contact and using the button on the lower section that will now say 2015 Detailed Assessment, Unit Assessment Completed. You can select this button and review the unit's assessment. This concludes the presentation about the detailed assessment. Please find other videos at my.scouting, the YouTube channel called Scouting Multimedia, and the Commissioner's webpage.